Okay, Jeb, time to bail. Bail, Jeb. Oh, Jeb, you bailed too much. Are you gonna live? Nope, you're gonna die. Uh, <laughs> oops! Okay, so don't hit spacebar twice. Yes, that is, uh, that is something you should not do. Because then he jumps out of the seat as well. What the hell, Jeb? You crazy man. Crazy, crazy man. Yeah, so that didn't quite work because I was being a big dummy and not flying it properly. So let's try that again, shall we? Get on over there. Waddle, waddle, waddle. There's one thing that I really love about these little guys. Oh, there's many things I love about these little guys. They're adorable. But one of my favorite things to do, and I know you guys have seen this before, is, well, I like sending them flying across surfaces. Unfortunately, you can't really do that on Kerbin. But uh, you can laugh at them as they fail at jumping. Boop. Face plant. And jumping. Boop. Face plant. Seriously, you guys need to not have heads that are as big as your body. Bigger than your body. These are like the same dimensions, aren't they? I think their heads are actually a little bit bigger than their bodies. All right. Well then. Okay, get back on board. Very good. And let us attempt this once more. I do feel that... Well, there's one thing that I do need to add, and that is... I need to... Yeah, that's not going to do anything. I need to have some sort of a a thing out front that I can select like this I can select this but it doesn't do anything I need to be able to select something to tell it to control from here because my nav ball is all sorts of messed up at the moment or is it um why is it okay I don't know let's just go and see what happens I also don't have any SAS on here so oh my god Okay, okay, we are we are in trouble. We are recovered. Very nice. Okay. Find controls. Turn around. Why is my nav ball like backwards? Okay, whatever. I'll figure that out. Come on, buddy, just Yeah, my nav ball is backwards right now, so it's kind of messing me up. Okay, we gotta go that way. Gotta go that way. Now the problem with this, like I said before, is the fuel issue. I don't I don't know what to do with the fuel problem. I mean I could add more fuel tanks. Yeah. Sure, but I don't know. I just don't know. So I'll have to figure it out. I'm not gonna land on top here, am I? Nope. That's nope, nope, nope. <laughs> this is really hard to control as well. Having okay, bail. And there you go, he's still alive. So if you don't hit spacebar twice, you're fine. And then you can jump out. No, apparently not. Then you can fall on your head. And be okay. Come, flip over. Flip, flip, flippity flip. Nope, okay, he's, he is, he's there. He's stuck on his head. Yeah, so the thing with the fuel is... It's, it's not great. Because we don't have... Uh, or we, the engines that we do have tend to burn through the fuel that's there fairly quickly, which is a bit of a problem. So we could add more fuel or try to, but that would just increase the mass and it would just, it wouldn't work too well. Or we could change up the engines a little bit, which is actually what I'm going to be doing. So the first idea I had for that was to do two engines on the side like so no, put them up a little higher I want this thing to rest on the bottom of the fuel tanks come on baby attach for me there we go that's that's good enough and while we're here her, that's like the smallest one I mean I could always put a, a state button guy oh my god that is the, that's huge if I add that to the front, it's just... How does that attach? I don't have clipping on. How in the hell does that attach? I could do that. 
Oh my god, that looks so wrong. What is the center of mass like now? It's not horrible, but... Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to figure out if I can attach something to the front here and use that as a... Control from here thingy. Mm, but it doesn't seem like I can. Alright, anyways, so we have the Mark II, which will have two of those little engines instead of four. So it should cut down on our fuel use, and it should still lift us off the ground. Uh, the first design that I made, which I didn't save because it didn't work, actually used four of the ant engine, uh, the radial ant engine engines. <laughs> ant engine engines, yes. Let's go, Cordon. Cordon? Cordon Kerman. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'd used the, uh, the ant engines, and those didn't even lift us off the ground. So yeah, uh, so we'll do this this way. Something seems wrong there. Something seems wrong with this ship. It is in the ground. Okay. Well, we'll we'll jump on and hopefully not die. Yeah. I think it's because I put the, the little tanks. Yeah, I put the uh, the engines uh, too too high up or too low. Sorry, so now it's trying to rest on the engines instead of the tanks. Yeah, this is not going to work. This is going to be a huge failure, but it will be an entertaining failure. So let us do that. And I don't know why I'm doing it this way. All right, and go, buddy, go. Oh wow, you still you're good. You're good. You're good. Very nice. Okay, okay, not bad. Not, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. It is tipping forward, okay. It's tipping forward quite a bit, actually. Hmm, gonna have to fix that. Alright, well, let's turn around and let's try to go say hi to, to Jeb over there in our new prototype, which I cannot fly. Oh my god. Okay. Go like that, and like that, and we're good, and we're almost out of fuel again. Yep, that's the problem with these engines. They, uh, I know their ISP is really good, but dang, this is not enough fuel. I'm gonna have to maybe wrap. Oh my god, dude, what are you doing? Wrap a few more of these tanks around. He's like flying sideways. I have no idea what I'm doing. Nope. Okay, gotta go like this. Oh man, this is not good. He is going to die soon. Okay, get out. Yay, we're good. Leave seat. Wee. Oh, ouch. Oh, I'm sorry, Cordon. Cordon? Cordon? Whatever your name is, I'm sorry. That looked painful. Okay, so that's, that sort of works. Sort of works. All right. Fair enough. So, I did have one more idea for this this little thing of a bobber here. And we'll do that right away. And we're actually going to cut down on engines even more. Yes, don't know how good of an idea it'll be, but, you know, we will make do with what we got. Okay, so that's the Mark II. Now we take these guys out and we put this little baby on there. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. Do not know what is going to happen. I'm sort of tempted to put landing legs on this one. I don't know why. I just feel like landing legs would be a good idea. These are some big ass landing legs. Holy balls. Why not have smaller landing legs, really? Really, really. Okay. Mm. Nope, that's not gonna work. Or is it? Flip you, nope, flip you like so. And you are not attached in the right spot. Oh, there we go. What? Is that right? It doesn't seem right. It seems like they're angled kind of strange. Oh my god, okay. Are these? No, these are... I 
I swear there were are there not smaller landing legs? Am I just crazy? Are these really the smallest ones? I guess they are. Okay. I do wish you could add four times symmetry to uh the space plane hangar. That would make things a little nicer. But you cannot. Okay, where is like here-ish. Is that is that good? That's that. That'll be fine. Okay, so that'll be the Mark Three. <laughs> yeah, let's check the center of mass. Actually, it's not forward at all. So why was the thing like tipping forwards? Or am I going crazy? Maybe it is a little bit forward. I don't know. Forget it. We'll just deal with it. Yeah, I just I need to find a better way to control those because I find it super awkward. It, it doesn't control the way you would expect it to control. Because I think things are basically just facing backwards. Because well, as you can see, when you when I actually launch the the little thing, yeah, it's like it's facing that way, and that's not right. It should be facing that way, and then it it would be. It'd be working fine. It's kind of cool. It's like a, it's like a little walker. All right. So who do we have? Huddo. Huddo, sir, you are our last pilot. The previous pilots are somewhere, somewhere not close to you. Ah, oh, they're not too far. They're maybe what, like a kilometer away. Where are they? Yeah, 1.7, 1.6. Okay, so maybe like two kilometers away. And our face plant. Or okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, just keep going, and let's try this thing out. Yeah, so changes need to be made. Um, balancing problems still need to be fixed, and fuel issues. I don't know. For something this small, yes, I'm running out of fuel. But can I reach the seat? Oh, I can. But yeah, I mean, yes, I do run out of fuel, but at the same time, I mean, look how small it is. It's really no surprise. Yeah, these legs are all sorts of messed up. Whatever, as long as they work. So I might end up adding a few more of these tanks, uh, like surrounding these two smaller tanks. Because I don't want to go any, I don't want to make it any higher than this. So yes, we'll, we'll see. And put that in there, all right. And uh, also SAS needs to be added because it needs to be added. Okay, okay, so it kind of works. Go that way, yay! Flying backwards, because that is how Kerbals do it. Okay, it seems like we're running out of fuel at pretty much the same pace as before. I'm gonna have to actually Nope. Nope. <laughs> to actually uh, keep a closer eye on the, the fuel usage. Nope, 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 nope. Other way, other way, other way. Whee! Nice recovery. Yeah, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on the fuel usage and see which, which one is actually the best design for fuel use. Yes. Anyways, let us... This is actually a lot more stable and a lot easier to control than the other ones. I still don't know what the hell is going on with that nav ball, so I'm just going to ignore it. But I would like to actually try to land on here maybe? Nope, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Okay, turn the other way. I need to stop my sideways. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe a little bit that way, yes, very good. Okay, we're sideways. Nope. Come on, buddy, I just I just want to land this thing. That's all I want to do, just want to land it safely. Okay, we're out of fuel. There is no landing it safely now. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... <laughs> hey, look, a fuel tank survived, it's sort of. Yeah, okay, so we need to work on that. We need to work on the whole fuel problem. And this whole thing, when they land, they fall on their faces. Leave the seat. Oh, wow, that was impressive. You just jumped right through your ship. Good job. Well, you know, that's unfortunate, but 
that's got to be the end of it. He's uh, he's not he's not too happy about his mission. He, he knows it didn't do too well. Okay, there we go. Now you get, now you get him going. Yeah, they really love jumping, even though they suck at jumping and walking forward. Okay, no, I guess running and jumping forward. There we go. Anyways, all right. Well, I'm gonna probably have to call it here because I do have to get going. And this is a good time for the episode anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed my little misadventures with the the personal jetpack prototypes. And I, I did actually try to make a proper jetpack. You know, like you strap a backpack to the, the back of a Kerbal and then strap some rockets to that. But I was just having some weird balancing issues. Um, I will work on it some more as well because I would like to show off something like that. I mean, I'm sure it's been done before, but you know. It might be interesting to see. These guys are so freaking slow. Oh my god. I was going to go say hi to Jeb over there, but it's going to take freaking forever. Alright, forget that. So I guess I'll just uh, leave you guys with this image of this poor little Kerbal. Running as fast as, as his little green feet can take him. He's going to go see the master of all Kerbals. The sensei of Kerbal knots everywhere. Jebediah Kerman. All right. Well, I'm going to have to leave it here for now. Hope you guys did enjoy this funky little episode. I am definitely not done with the jetpacks yet. I'll be doing more of these in the future. But uh, the next few episodes, well, the next episode, I'm going to go and do the, uh, the mission, the rescue mission, and finish that up. And then we're going to call it quits for point two zero. Then we'll jump into point two one and actually start working on the giant robot in space. And the whole thing with that is I, I want to get that done. So, he's still 500 meters away. Yeah, I do want to get that done. Where's that job over there? Let's go there. Um, so, yes, we're going to start off by building a... Um, well, think like, uh, think like Star Trek, you know, when they're building... Or there's the uh, the repair bays, the shipyards, shipyards. That's what are, that they're called, where they repair ships and build new ships and all that. So we're going to be building something sort of like that first. I'm going to try to actually send that up all at once, which should be interesting. And it won't have a lot of parts either, because I don't want to affect the overall parts usage. Because you know, in the end, I'm going to have so many freaking parts on that thing. It's going to be a pain to to deal with all the the FPS issues. So yeah, I'm going to be making that, and then over the next few episodes, we're going to be making the actual robot. Then we'll maybe take it for a test flight, and we'll probably end up sending it deep into Kerbin's atmosphere and watching it burn up. Because what better way to show off your, your hard work and effort than by totally destroying it all. Anyways, as we finally make it, it feels like it's been like half an hour since I started running here. Hello, Jebediah. Is that even Jebediah? I have no freaking clue. Hello, can I click on you? Am I am I the ship? I am the ship. I am still the sh nope. I'm dude. I am this ship. I am oh my god. Switch to the switch to the guy. Yeah, it is Jeb. Okay, cool. Wow, Jeb, impressive. Huh? You look kind of comfy in there. You know what, Jeb? I'm gonna let you take a nap, and that'll be the end of the episode. Wow. Well, oh, this <laughs> this Kerbal right here stares at Jeb as he's sleeping. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, leave a comment down below and all that other fun stuff, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.